back to the card mat. Right, the dunk blink video I put up yesterday is how it was done. There's no gimmicks, no duplicate cards, no smoke, no mirrors, no trap doors, no hidden secret sexy assistants, no white rabbits, no unicorns, no dogs playing flutes and no gorillas playing the drums to a Phil Collins song. Nothing like that. Completely impromptu, just done with a bit of sleight of hand. Just wish I could do sleight of hand proper, properly. Some of you wouldn't have guessed how it was done. Right. Shuffle your packet to show it's all completely mixed up and you're not forcing any cards because you are not forcing any card. Do a double lift. Bink, bink. A turnover. Pinch with your three fingers to keep it nice and square. Pinch at the side. Show it's the nine of hearts. Flip it over onto the top. Put it on the table. Now they think that's the nine of hearts where it's actually lost a digit and it's become the eight. That's on the tip. Yeah, the nine of hearts is on the top. It was a double lift. Don't forget. You now want to get the nine of hearts or whatever card it is from there to second to bottom. Easy way. Milk. So just peel the top and bottom cards off together. Then shuffle everything else onto the top of it. Square your packet up because you don't want to turn over showing your nine. Square your packet up, pinch it, your first finger at that top corner, your thumb down there at that bottom corner, your fingers in front, turn it over so your fingers are along the bottom, your thumb is at the top. You're showing them the eight of spades. Now you get that eight of spades and you palm it into that hand as you're turning over and taking the packet that way. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Waste of time you're doing it without showing you. All you're going to do is, as you're turning your hand over, is crunch your fingers up so your little finger goes where the index is. Pinch on the index. Once you've gone past that window, because you don't want them seeing any of that little flashes. So you'll show the card, you'll pull your hand over this way to your other side, so you get cover off the back of your hand. And once you've gone past the window, you're just going to pull that card into your hand, as you take that packet away and then just tra transverse that card into a, a Tenkai type palm in your hand. Hidden like that. Don't tip your hand that way. Don't tip your hand that way. And don't tip your hand that way. Have it nicely hidden. So they've just seen the eight of spades on the bottom of there. They've seen the nine of hearts going down there. Eight of spades over there. Pull it off. Catch into a Tenkai. Pull your hand over there and make sure you cover all of that card so they don't see nothing, right? So your hand comes across, covers that card. You're then going to drop this card oof, down so it lands sort of like that on that card, right? And it's still all hidden. You're just going to pull your thumb over and push down. I'll pull this this way so you can see what's going on now. Push down roughly where they join with your thumb. As you pick up the two cards with your hand, your fingers, get your ring finger and your little finger to grip hold of that bottom card. So you can then slide that card over it, turn it over and drop it, and then just bend your thumb around and catch that into a Tenkai. So in real world, real worldy type action, they're going to see the eight of spades down there. You'll come across, you'll pull that off into a palm, You'll come over, you'll drop that down, you'll bend your hand over, you'll pick them two cards up, you'll turn that card out. Without doing that, Keep make sure you keep your hand twisted this way, so like the back of your hand is straight up, parallel to the floor. Yeah, parallel to the, f the table or the floor. If you've got it on a bit of an angle, like that, as you can see, they're going to see that card sticking over. So make sure your hand isn't like that kind of an angle, and they can't see it. As you throw that card onto the table. Now a little bit of um, misdirection comes in here. Because you're going to lap that card. So you pull this hand forward as this hand comes back. And you want to turn that hand over as that hand lets go of the card. So it falls down off the table into your lap. Make sure you're not sitting too close to the table. It won't go down. I don't want to pick it up off the floor. So I'm having my belly in the way. So it didn't go. But you drop that into your lap. As that hand turns that packet over and comes away, and then you show both hands are clean, 
Don't forget that can't down there, so they're not going to see it on the table. And it all looks nice and clean. Um, we'll put the eight of spades down there. They've picked the eight of... We'll do it with the eight of hearts and the eight of spades. So you flip it over, eight of hearts, turn it down, put it on the table. Shuffle the eight of hearts to second to bottom. Square it up. Turn it over, show them the eight of spades. As you're coming around, you're just going to steal that card into your hand, palm it, pull it across, drop it down, pull your hand back, pick both of them cards up, flip that one out, drop it down, get that one into a palm. As you go, hey, and drop that one off the table, and they're seeing the cards have swapped places. When you're dropping this card, do make sure that it goes down past it. Not that much, obviously, but it does go past it that way. If you do it like that, once you've picked that up, you've then got this problem. Look, can you see it, the corner of that card? It's it's just not getting past the corner of that card. Unless you change your grip, which looks a bit naff. And you also get that little clicky sound. Drop it down. Pick it up. You hear the click as you're trying to get away with it. Not more I can say on it. There isn't. No. Um, yeah, dead easy. Don't forget, I've got my draw coming up on Friday, my giveaway draw. If you want to be in, in on it and you're not already, go to my New Year giveaway video, which I uploaded on New Year's Day, which was the 1st of January. Um, be subscribed to my channel, like that video, and leave a comment saying hashtag giveaway somewhere in it if it doesn't say hashtag giveaway you're not going to be in on the draw some people did leave comments without it i did message them back in a comment saying leave hashtag giveaway some of them have some of them have ignored me comment the ones who ignored your comment are not in on the draw sorry but they are the rules what can you win um and go they're all the way up here but I can't play with them. One person is going to win all of these. The Selfie King. Detection. And the box. Uh, there is a link to each one of them. A promo video on each one of them. In that other video. if The description box on that other video. If you want to go and check them out. And see what they're all about. Before you decide you want to be in it or not. That being said. I have nothing else to say really besides thank you very much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed it if you get in on the draw best of luck to each and every one of you and i will see you again soon